Here are the most common mistakes to avoid when using a table saw. Mistake 1. Working without the riving knife and anti-kickback device. During the cut, the kerf can pinch the blade, leading to kickback and propelling the workpiece. The riving knife reduces the chances of kickback and the anti-kickback device keeps the workpiece from being thrown. Both parts must be properly mounted and parallel with the fence. Mistake 2. Working without the blade guard. Kickback can drag your fingers into the saw blade. That's why the blade guard should be installed. It isn't only there to protect you in a moment of distraction or physical unease. Mistake 3. Using an unstable table saw. To keep the saw from moving during the cut or tipping when cutting large work pieces, it needs to be securely mounted on a workbench or table saw stand. By the way, never use a table saw that's placed on the floor, even if you can mount it to something. Mistake 4. Sawing a warped workpiece. Never make a rip cut on a workpiece that's warped or a workpiece that doesn't have a straight edge. Before cutting, make sure that one side of the workpiece is straight so that it can slide along the fence. Put aside all workpieces that have loose knots, defects, nails, or foreign objects. Mistake 5. Sawing with the blade extending too far out of the workpiece. The larger the contact area with the blade, the higher the risk of binding and kickback. Adjust the blade so that it's one eighth of an inch higher than the top of the workpiece. Mistake 6. Making a cut freehand. To avoid making a crooked cut and causing binding and kickback, always hold the workpiece firmly against the table and the fence during the cut. Mistake 7. Cutting large panels without supporting them. If you accidentally lift the panel, the blade's teeth can throw it back at you. The back and the sides of the panel need to be supported so that you can keep the workpiece flat and firmly pressed against the table. Mistake 8. Using the rip fence when cross-cutting. Cut-off can bind between the blade and the rip fence and kick back. When making cross-cuts, reposition the rip fence and use the miter gauge instead. Never use the rip fence and the miter gauge at the same time, or the rip fence as a length stop. Mistake 9. Leaving part of your body in line with the blade. If kickback occurs, the cutoff piece will be thrown back at you. You need to always keep your body and your face on one side of the blade so that you are not in line with it. Mistake 10. Using your hand during a narrow cut. When your hand is too close, you can be injured when kickback occurs even if you are careful and even if there is a blade guard. When making a cut with the blade and fence 8 inches apart or less, you need to use a push stick. Use it when you get to the table, all the way through the cut, and to push the cutoff piece behind the blade. Mistake 11. Reaching for the workpiece or the cutoff piece while the blade is turning. To reduce the chances of cutting yourself, turn the switch off and wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before reaching around or over the blade. Mistake 12. Pulling the workpiece back while the blade is turning. A rotating blade can pinch the workpiece when pulled. Always wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before pulling the workpiece back. Obviously, a table saw is made for sawing, but you need to know how to use it properly and ask yourself if it's the right tool for the job.